Hello friends, welcome back to the online spoken English class. As we all know that reading and listening to a story is always fun. There is a story given on your screen. Let us read it aloud by repeating after me. Once in the month of summer, a thirsty crow was flying here and there in search of water. Suddenly, he saw a pot with a very small amount of water. When he tried to drink the water, he could not do so, as the level of the water was very low. The crow was very clever and he hit upon an idea. He collected some pebbles and dropped them into the pot. As the level of the water rose, he quenched his thirst and flew away. Have you noticed the highlighted words? The highlighted words in the story A, An, The are articles. These are used to introduce nouns. They specify the state of definiteness of a noun. Articles are a little tricky for a person of Hindi background because the Hindi language does not have anything similar to it. There are two types of articles, indefinite and definite. Here we will focus on indefinite articles. A and an are indefinite articles as they do not refer to any particular person or thing. Listen to these sentences and repeat after me. You need a doctor immediately. You need Dr. Singh immediately. As you can see, in the first sentence, the speaker has no specific doctor in mind. It can be just any doctor. But in the second sentence, the speaker clearly refers to a specific doctor, Dr. Singh. Now, listen to the following sentences and repeat after me. Can I have an umbrella, please? I am going to visit a lawyer. Do you have a car? In the above sentences, a and an are used before common nouns, umbrella, lawyer and car. 
they are not referring to any particular person or thing we use an before a noun beginning with a vowel sound and a before a noun beginning with a consonant sound this is important so please notice the words that have been used are vowel sounds and consonant sounds a word beginning with a vowel may not have a vowel sound similarly a word beginning with a consonant may not have a consonant sound now how do you distinguish between a vowel sound and a consonant sound let us take the first two letters of the english alphabet a and b when we say a we pronounce it with a vowel sound when we say b we pronounce it with a consonant sound so what is the difference to say a you open your mouth to say b you close your mouth in general while pronouncing a vowel sound you do not block the flow of air but when you pronounce a consonant sound you block the flow of air for example pressing your lips together as for b pressing your bottom lip against your teeth as for f pressing your tongue against the top of your mouth as for l though there are 26 letters in the english alphabet yet they give us many more sounds than 26 please repeat after me with vowel sounds we do not block the air flow with consonant sounds we block the air flow at least partially now listen to the following sentences and repeat after me i have a cold he is an honor to his family this is an interesting book I found a 1 rupee note while walking. Ajay is waiting for me for more than an hour. As you can see, the word honor in the second sentence given above begins with a vowel sound we have used and before it on the other hand in the fourth sentence the word one begins with a consonant sound and therefore a is used before it there are five vowels in english a e i o u but sometimes the consonants too produce vowel sound for example y as in busy ear etc on the other hand sometimes the vowel produce 
consonant sound. For example, U as in university, union, etc. So, while using articles, we have to take care of the vowel sounds and not vowel letters. It is the sound that determines the selection. Listen to the following sentences and repeat after me. Is your father an MLA? It is an honor for me to serve my country. The king died without an heir. I have a unit test. This is a one-way ticket. Now, let us go for a quick recap. In this module, we learnt that the words a, an and the are called articles. We also learnt that we use an before a noun beginning with a vowel sound and a before a noun beginning with a consonant sound. We also learnt that of these a and an are indefinite articles. That's all for today. In the next module, we shall discuss about the definite article the. Thank you.